Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. Now if you want to know more about the material I used to 3D print this cup, which is strong enough to withstand the heat of an oven, then stay tuned. Now first of all, I want, I want to say that 3D Capelin did send the material for this video but this doesn't affect my opinion in any way, so this review is totally my own opinion. But for you guys, they actually have a promo code that you can see here, where you can get 15% off your purchase. Now, the brand new filament that they just launched is called 3DK Top. Now, the main selling feature of this material is that it prints like just normal filament so it can be printed on almost every printer, but after some treating, it can withstand heat of up to 230 degrees Celsius or around 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just really high temperatures for a filament which is printed at around 260 degrees Celsius and doesn't require a heated chamber or a heated bed. Now this material, as I already said, prints at around 240 to 260 degrees Celsius, depending on your printer. But for parts like this one, which doesn't have a huge surface, you don't need a heated bed at all. I just used my glass plate with some glue stick on there and had no problems whatsoever with, the, with adhesion. First try, it perfectly worked. And I didn't even turn my build plate on. Now, if you wanna cover bigger surfaces, I'm told that you should preheat your build plate so that you don't encounter warping, but I didn't have any issues of that kind. And other printing characteristics besides the print temperatures, which has to be a bit higher, I used the same settings like for PLA and it just worked beautifully. So the print quality and ease of use in printing gets a big thumbs up from me. Now. After you finished your print, the material is feels good. It's a bit softer than PLA, but in a good way because PLA is very hard, but it snaps qu quite easily. This material is a bit more forgiving. It bends a bit more, but is also quite a lot sturdier than PLA. And just like that, it's already quite strong. Now, if you want to achieve the maximum capacity of this filament, you should put it in the oven at around 110 degrees. You just have to like heat it through so a thin part like this takes like 5 to 10 minutes or the bigger part can take a bit longer. But then you don't take it out of the oven immediately but you just shut down the oven and leave it to cool down slowly. At around 110 degrees the material gets a bit soft. It actually gets quite soft in the oven at 110 degrees. First time I tried it. I used the, only the wires in the oven to put it on and it got very soft at 110 degrees. So it actually dropped down a bit and deformed. Now in the second try it worked a lot better and if you don't move your objects and you think a bit how you position them, it works totally fine. Like if I put this cup right here on a flat surface in the oven, it's no big deal because it's supported everywhere. But if I would put it like this, it would collapse a bit like this. Like if you print something that requires support material to print because it has overhangs, you should leave the support material on until after the heat treating. And during the slow cool down, the crystal structure inside of the material rearranges and gets aligned very well. This then allows the material to be a lot stronger. It's a bit harder, but the main points are that it is quite a bit stronger, so it is a really rigid material. I don't have any strength tests prepared, but I can tell you that it is definitely quite a bit stronger than PLA. This allows you to use this in many different applications, like in a hot place, maybe outside in the sun, Maybe you're in a hot country and you want to do something outside. PLA is no good for that, but this would work. 
or, or maybe in a car, in an engine somewhere. There it can get quite as hot as well. Or in many other like industrial applications. But did I tell you the most amazing thing about this material? It's food safe. Meaning you can print like cups like this and drink out of it, make tea in it. Or you can make plates or whatever you can imagine. Now to test the real potential of this material if it can withstand such high heat and if it is really food safe, I did a few tests. First off, I'm gonna make tea inside of this cup. So here we are in the kitchen to test out this 3D printed cup. Now I'm just gonna make tea in this cup and then we're gonna see how well it turns out if the cup holds up and if the tea is any good. Okay, so I made sure that the water is really boiling, so it should be 100 degrees Celsius right now. I'm just gonna make a normal cup of tea right here and let's see what happens. So here we go. Initially, it still holds up, just like a normal cup. Now, just after a couple of seconds, I can start to feel that the cup gets soft a little. And it also is really hot to the touch. So I would say that the I can't really hold this cup down here very well. So I guess it, the plastic conducts the heat quite well. And you can see that it is quite soft. If I take my second camera to help right here, you can see that I can press in quite well. So the plastic did get soft. But also I would normally never drink tea with boiling hot water because you can't drink this like that, at least I can't. Now, because I'm a pussy and can't drink boiling hot tea, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cold water. Fill this thing up completely. And it still is steaming quite a lot, so it still is really hot. Damn, that's hot. Oof. But now with the tea only cooled down a very little bit, the cup is almost completely hardened again. So tea at a normal drinking temperature is absolutely no problem. And now I, I left the boiler on a little bit longer intentionally so that I get really, really uh, hot water. But like, Right now, I can't uh, feel it that it's any softer than it was in a cold state. And this tea is still extremely hot and I can't really drink it like that. Now, making tea was cute. It got run to 100 degrees Celsius because the water was really boiling. And you could see that it reached a point where it got a little bit soft, but only adding a little bit of water got it right over the edge again and made it hard. So for tea, it's perfectly fine and the cup at a drinkable temperature will be quite sturdy. But now let's step it up a notch and make a cupcake inside of this cup. Apparently I forgot to turn on my microphone on the last clip. So what I fear is just the 
Make sure your sami make with the baking mixture some milk stirred up in this cup. It's like a bit more than halfway full. And I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And I'm just gonna put it in. And now we have to wait for about 20 minutes. So time's up now and I'm just gonna take this thing out of the oven. Looks great already. Now, the cup definitely survived. It also looks really delicious up here. And I mean, you can definitely see how it's squishy, but it's almost not as bad as before. Now, as you were able to see, this worked perfectly as well. I actually have it right here and I'm gonna try it right now. Now, I don't really know how to eat a cupcake that is inside of a cup, but... Mmm, that's a really good brownie. Now, you're not gonna make your everyday baking forms out of this material, but that's not the point, I think. While well, it's not perfect and it gets quite soft while it's in there, it works perfectly fine and the food is totally okay. So if you wanna, like for a birthday, make a special form, a cake that is shaped like someone's head or whatever, your imagination is the limit here, that's a really great thing to do. Or if, if you want to make a very special cup for someone, that's a great thing too. So their claims absolutely met their standard. This material stayed in perfect shape even in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is very a tough thing for most materials. I print PLA at 180 degrees Celsius, so that this material, which is only printed at 260 degrees Celsius, can withstand such high heat with no problems. That's quite amazing. And I also just want to quickly mention that this baking mixture is really freaking good. The brownie tastes almost as good as if you make it yourself. Now, the ma one main disadvantage that you're gonna encounter is that this material is quite expensive at 75 euros per kilogram. But I don't think that this is a, such a big deal because other specialty filaments that are high heat resistance, they are quite expensive as well. And this filament just is so easy to use that the time you would spend to dial in other filaments you can use to make your design and work towards your goal with this filament. So I think this price is justified and it's also not going to be the material you use to print everyday items because PLA is perfectly fine for these applications and you don't need this material for. Now I was too lazy to mix my own cake and use the baking mixture instead, so you can bet your ass that I'm gonna be too lazy to wash this by hand. So as one last test, I'm gonna put this thing in a dishwasher, just put it in like any normal cup, and I'm gonna put some footage right after this to show you if it survived or not. So if you like this video and maybe you want to get this filament, you can buy it at the link below. Remember to use the coupon code to save 15% and maybe send me a pic on social media, link down below, of what you made with this filament. I would be very interested to see. Also if you have anything else you want to share, you can leave it down in the comments and I'm gonna see it. And also if you have something for 3D Cable in to say leave it down there as well and either they will see it or I'm gonna tell them.
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.